back. If you're looking for a pet, look no further. Kim Warnick's here with our pet of the week from the Hollington Humane Society. We've had some dogs the past couple of times, and now we, for our cat lovers, he knows I'm talking about him. He's looking at me. <laughs> he sure does. He is absolutely the sweetest little baby boy. His name is Zorro, and he's Zorro. about three months old. He's already been neutered. He's been feline AIDS and leukemia tested negative, and he is way looking for his new home. Does he come with the mask? He does, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kim, there's, you know, little spring flings going on uh, with all the animals <laughs> out there. You know, why, why do you get so many extra kittens and puppies during the springtime, and what can people do to prevent that? Well, the easiest thing to do to prevent it is get your cats and dogs spayed and neutered. That is the biggest, most important thing. Um, we see a very large increase in um, puppy and kitten drop-offs at the shelter in the springtime. And I think, you know, coming out of winter, it's, it's a easier time for them to, to raise their young, which is why they breed in the spring more predominantly than they seem to the rest of the year. Oh, man. Plus, it's warmer and nicer to be out yeah, and about. Yeah, it is very nice. And, and, and I, it's, I assume there's a lot of ticks that are probably around, too, so you want to make sure that they're up to date with everything that they need. There are um, lots of fleas and ticks. It's coming into the summer season, so please make sure that you're getting your animal taken care of. Heartworm for your dogs and cats as well. Mosquito season is here, whether we like it or not. Make sure those animals are on prevention and keep them as healthy as you possibly can. This yeah. particular kitty is so adorable. He is, and he's so mellow. As long as you sit and hold him, he is perfectly happy. Oh, and a cat yeah. is probably good for people who live in maybe a small Indeed. apartment compared to a dog, which is a little more responsibility. They are. They're a little more um, low maintenance than what your dogs are going to be. He's still got his kitten crazy time, so, you know, he will be active. He'd be good for a family with kids who, you know, understand that you have to be careful with young animals like this. But as you can see, he's just perfectly happy to hang out here and get all this attention. He's so self-sufficient. And where can people go to adopt this little kitty or adopt any of the other animals that have come in? Um, always at the Harlingen Humane Society. It's 1106 Markowski. Adoption for him is $75 for dogs, puppies, um, it's $100, and that covers their spay neuters, their vaccines, microchipping, mm -hmm. feline aids, and leukemia testing. That's all included in that fee. How much is a spay and neuter right now? Um, on cats, it's 55. On dogs, it's 85 or 95 if they're above 55 pounds. Great. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Kim, for joining us this afternoon. Thank you.